What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. So I'm actually in the middle of making a guard rolling video for you guys. Um, and what I wanted to do is give you guys some crazy, perfect wheel fitment specs for an E46 coupe. Now this is a non M3 coupe, and I wanna show you what you can fit unrolled and then rolled on your guards, right? So I'm running on the front 19 by nine plus 48 fitment and on the rear 19 by 10 plus 45 fitment. Um, they are very tight on the rear on the inside and you'll see what I mean when I tuck the wheel, I'm gonna take the spring out and tuck the wheel right up into the guard and you'll see how much you can actually fit. Now, I'm gonna do that on the back, I'm also gonna do that on the front. So then you guys can go, okay, I don't wanna roll my guards, I can fit this on a max and slam it or I wanna roll my guards and I can fit this and slam it. So let's jump into the video and I'll show you some specs. Okay, now this on the back is an X5 wheel. So it's a 19 by 10 plus 45. Let me check. Yep, plus 45. And you can see, you have not got much room up there. You got like a millimeter. So honestly, this looks like the biggest wheel you can fit in the back because to be honest, it's almost touching the inner body at the back. Okay, so rear fitment, the best you can get without rolled guards is this. Now, I'm actually about to go in and roll the guards. As you can see, they're, they're decent thickness. You know, they're, hold on, let me get my tape measure. So I did put the tape measure up and then to the edge, it's like 21 mil. So if you can knife edge this, you've probably got about another 18 mil of fitment you can get in there, which is kind of what I'm betting on, to be honest. But let's drop this back down. I'm gonna roll the guard in another, another video, obviously. And I'll, let's do a little time jump to after the rolling guard video, and I'll show you what you can fit afterwards. All right, so now these guards are rolled. In the previous clip, you would have seen me tuck the wheel right up. As you can see, it scuffs. So, the plus 45 is probably ever so slightly too aggressive. I would go plus 44 possibly. Or you can go plus 45, get a little bit of camber, I don't know. But on non-rolled, I'd go with, you know, whatever diameter, by 10 plus 44 for a non-rolled guard. Now, I've rolled these and I've taken another measurement and I've gained another 10 mil of clearance on my roll. Now, this is going to be a video on just non-rolled versus rolled, not like cutting things out, pumping guards, things like that. So I've got another 10 mil clearance. So obviously, now I can go a by 10 plus 34, okay? And that'll give me a nice bit of clearance in there. So what I'm gonna do while I'm talking at the moment, I'm gonna put on a screen a bunch of different specs. I'm gonna probably go something like a, an eight all the way up. So eight, 8.5, 9, 9.5, 10, and what you can run unrolled and then rolled. Um, apologies for the dirt all over my face. Um, they'll just be all over the screen and then you can pick, okay, I wanna go the widest I can go in the rear, etc., cetera, et cetera, uh, you know, narrower, whatever, okay? I would probably run like a max nine and a half in the rear just to give you some clearance. And then like an eight and a half in the front or a nine and an eight, something like that. But you can you can pick whatever you want and your diameters and all that sort of thing. So that's showing you on the rears. Now I'm gonna show you on the fronts. Now the fronts are pretty close, uh, rolled to unrolled, because I mean like they're just, they're, they're just well designed. Um, unless someone has half rolled mine previously, but I'll show you from what I have now to after rolling. This is my 19 by nine plus 48. And you can see it's pretty much like on the edge there. So that's gonna tuck in under here, right? Now, I have tucked in, I have uh, cleared it. Sorry, I don't have footage of me doing it, but I'm also running an eight mil spacer on these. So they're technically a 19 by nine plus 40, right? and they clear in here. So plus 40 you can clear and that has a 10 mil kind of uh, thickness there until you knife edge it. Now on the other side I've knife edged it and I've gained myself that 10 mil. So you could go to a 19 by nine plus 30 in the front. Obviously you can run camber and stuff, like this is like pretty basic non-cambered um, unrolled to rolled, okay? So yeah. Unrolled, you can fit a 19 by nine plus 40. Then rolled, you can fit a 19 by nine plus 30. Now again, I'm gonna put up on the screen, I'm gonna go from eight 
all the way up to, what should I go up to? To be fair, I'm only gonna go up to nine, so I'm gonna go from seven up to nine um, inches wide because the nines without that spacer on a plus 48 actually hit my coil over. So I needed that spacer to pull it far enough away. So the nine by nine plus 40 is to clear the coil over and it will also go in a non-rolled guard. And then, yeah, if you were to go a 30 plus 30 offset, you could clear a rolled guard. But then of course you could go something crazy and you can add camber and things like that. So keep that in mind. But yeah, I'll put them all up on the screen. You'd be reading it as I'm talking right now and then you'll be able to pick your fitment. So yeah, guys, I really hope this has been helpful. I know fitment's a big like thing for people and also you chuck on like a forum saying, hey, what's everyone's fitment? Um, and everyone comes on and goes, this is perfect fitment, you need to run this. And that dude could have his rim sucked right into his guard, but be fat, meaty tires. Or that guy could have stretch tires, like 205s on a 10 inch wide, you're probably not gonna get that. I'm joking, I'm exaggerating. But you know what I mean? Like he could just have rim face, just now, it could be like the crown, just narrowly missing the inside of the guard. And then they don't tell you, oh, I've rolled my guards, or I haven't rolled my guards, or I've rolled and pumped my guards, or I've rolled, pumped, and like wide bodied my guard, you know, all that sort of stuff. So it's all a preference thing. So I'm just kind of giving you guys the rim edge to inner fender um, clearance so you can pick how you want it to look. Me personally, my preference is a little bit of stretch, just like on the suit, brother. Tires have a little bit of stretch on, but it means that the rim just misses the inside of the guard when rolled. I like to roll them so that they don't peel out if it ever does touch, right? That's how I like to run my wheels because I think it looks really nice. And then I like to have my uh, fender arch just above the tire. I'm talking like it's probably tucking tread, like it's that close, you know what I mean? So it looks functional, it doesn't look super slammed. As much as I love the look of a super slammed car, uh, I think they look dope. I just, I don't like to run them myself. I think it's probably just because I've got a little bit older and I like things that are a little bit looking more functional, looking more sporty, that kind of thing. I don't know. If I ever got a Ferrari, I'd prob probably like slam that, but I don't know. One day, Aston Martin, oof. Yeah, but yeah, guys, I hope this has been helpful. And then you can pick how you want to run it. If you want to run a meaty tire that sticks out over your rim, like 10, 15 mil, then you can adjust your, you know, thickness of your, your, your width of your rim and your fitment. So, you know, it gives you a bit of a guide. So if you liked, like, subscribe, Patreon, all that sort of stuff. Uh, I appreciate everything you guys do, all the views, all the likes, all the comments, all the everything. So I hope you guys have enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. See you guys.